I'm a kind of guy. Uh, I'm a discovery guy. I'm a lab rat. I walk, uh, it's like walking along the beach. You turn the rock over and go, oh, what's that? Dr. Vincent Tui is a man with an incredible mind and a curious personality. He also has a drive to make a difference when it comes to preventing breast cancer. The work being done here at his Cleveland Clinic Research Lab is 20 years in the making. The way we control cancer is we beat the daylights out of it, you know, with the radiation and surgery and chemotherapy and immunotherapy. The cure really is to prevent it to begin with. The way we prevent polio and measles and mumps, we can prevent it. What we're proposing here in my program at the Cleveland Clinic is that we develop a 21st century vaccine program that prevents diseases that we confront with age, that we have no defense against. Dr. Tui says he's faced his fair share of doubts. People thought I was a little uh, wacky, you know. Oh, there, there goes Vince again, a little bit off. But um, slowly and methodically, I think people are coming around to seeing that this can be done. It's quite possible. In October, we uh, started the clinical trial to prevent uh, uh, breast cancer in humans, actually to prevent the most lethal form of breast cancer, which is triple negative breast cancer. This phase one trial expected to be complete in four months is designed to determine dosage in patients with early stage triple negative breast cancer and to characterize and optimize the body's immune response. All I can say is that it's moving along nicely the way we expected it. We're gonna get the dose and we're gonna establish a safety profile that we think, uh, we hope, will be acceptable to the FDA, and then we can move on to a phase two study. His long-term goal? A true preventative vaccine that would be administered to healthy women to prevent them from ever developing triple negative breast cancer. But it could be 10 years or more until we know. It takes a lot of time and, of course, an abundance of money. It's very slow. Yeah, it is slow, and you have to be uh, tenacious. Tenacity is, is my best trait. In fact, he was almost out of funds back in 2016, facing retirement with the project likely ending. But support from several women's groups and a grant for $6.2 million for clinical trials, and he was back in business. It has to make you feel great. Yeah, I feel great. I mean, everything I, I've been dreaming of is coming to fruition. It was a struggle. It was hard. It wasn't easy. But this is my life's work. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Dr. Tui came to Cleveland in 1989 and met his wife Marion on his first day of work. They've lived here ever since. His three children will tell you that outside the lab, their dad has his passions. My biggest distraction is uh, oh, I'm a sports nut. I watch, you know, I watched my baseball games, my basketball games. I'm a sports junkie. I love music. The last concert I went to was ACDC. You know? Fascinating. I was yeah, not I expecting that. ACDC, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm an old rocker. I'm still stuck in the 70s, you know. But his mind is always on what's next. His vaccine strategy has the potential to be applied to other tumor types, and his team is now currently developing three technologies, including treatment for ovarian cancer. We're writing the paper as we speak, and we think that that could be uh, very, very helpful. There are methods and techniques being developed that could change everything.